opening statement? Sure. Yeah. Um, just super proud of you know our execution tonight. I think we weren't super pleased with our performance yesterday. Obviously happy to get a win, but um, you know we talked in the locker room like the standard needs to be higher. And I felt like we came out, we set the tempo from the beginning. Um, obviously we're hitting shots and shot the ball pretty well tonight, so that helps too. But I think overall, just one through 15, we did a great job um, of playing as a team and making each other better. Yeah, Coach, can you talk about um, the offensive success you had tonight? You set your season high. Just, I mean, the shooting percent speaks for itself, but can you right. talk about the offensive effort? Yeah, we talked about getting um, into the paint, coming off the on balls making you know easy plays and, and reversing the ball. I think that was part of it. Sometimes we get kind of caught up in trying to score off the first um, on ball where we need to reverse the ball. And we had uh, you know some good action, I thought, where we were cutting and some handoffs. And just there was just a little bit more movement, I felt like, today than there was last night and we, or yesterday afternoon. And we just did a, a good job of finding people and, and getting you know easy shots, a lot of, lots of points in the paint. Coach, you, you were able to kind of go down the bench tonight uh, Get some, get some girls some playing time that usually don't see, uh, that usually don't have as many minutes. What right. did you see tonight that uh, you could apply to the future? Well, I think for a lot of those girls, it's just getting some court experience. You know, we haven't had a ton of opportunity to, to kind of get some rotations in there. So it was fun to see them go out there. And I, and I thought they did a great job. I mean, really, I think we talk all the time about just take advantage of your opportunity. And I think they all did a great job when they went in there. They did take advantage of their opportunity. I wish we had more minutes to spread around because it would have been nice to, to get some of them even some more time. Yeah. Well, Coach, you had Dara Franson return the line tonight. I noticed um, from the first tip off, you were going to her on pretty much every offensive possession. Can you talk about um, having her return to the court and also why you wanted to get her involved early? Right. I mean, we definitely missed Dari last night, I think. And so it was nice to have her back. I think she was excited to, to play. and. Um, you know, sitting there watching was probably a good thing for her too, because she got to see kind of what we needed to adjust. And um, so it was, yeah, I mean, Dari's someone we always want to get a, a touch early and, and get her a shot early, because um, she's, she's a great scorer for us. Um, and you know, she's expanded her game where she can shoot on the perimeter. She's tough to guard. Um, so, it, and she does a great job of rolling off those screens. And I think that was where we really established that pick and roll with her. Coach, the was there a reason for that? Did you want to start using her off the bench a little bit? Or? I'll be completely honest with you, that was um, just a mistake. Yeah, when we put the starters in, I guess they checked the wrong box. So it wasn't meant to be that way. It worked out. I mean, Dela is, we talk all the time, Dela is, a, I mean, we have six or seven starters right now, really. We could rotate some people around. So dela has been a huge spark for us off the bench. Um, but I mean, she's perfectly capable of being a starter. And, you know, I'm comfortable with that. And I thought Maddie did a great job of coming in. And, um, you know, I thought that was actually probably one of her best halves she's had all year. So it's fun to watch her play. Um, Coach, can you talk about just how you're able to build confidence tonight ahead of a really important series with Weaver this week? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good for us to see what we're capable of when we're executing and we're playing on the same page. And that's kind of what we've been trying to drive home the last, you know, day or so is just we, the standard needs to be higher, the execution needs to be better. The communication needs to be better. So all those little things, I think we got a taste of what we're capable of when, when we're executing and we're doing those things. And then obviously it's a quick turnaround. So, you know, we have to come in tomorrow without a, a day off and be ready to, to get ready with a scout and um, ready to execute and, and play Weaver. So, um, you know, it's, it's tough because you need to get some of those, some of those ladies a little bit of time off. Um, so tomorrow will probably be a lot of shooting and just scouting report stuff. Coach, you, you talked yesterday post game that you wanted to get more assisted buckets, and mm -hmm. you did that again. Right. Uh, what what changed in your offensive scheme? Uh, it was being more aggressive. Um, really, being more aggressive, and then not yesterday. I thought we tried to dribble through two a lot. Um, we got a little, just a little greedy with our drives. I think today we did a great job of being aggressive, drawing two, and then finding that open person. And that's where we were able to roll the basket hard and hit that pick and roll. We watched film today. You know they. They got to see it all, and so I think for them to see it on film, they came out. They did a great job of making the adjustments. But yeah, I mean that's when you're running a, a pick and roll offense like we do, we should have more assisted baskets. You know, the the goal is to create an advantage coming off the off the on ball and find that open person. Okay, good. All right. Um, 
Can you talk about just the performance tonight? Uh, obviously improved a lot since last night to get the blowout win. How did it feel for you guys out there? Um, I think like the difference between <clears throat> tonight and last night was definitely like the tempo. And I think like execution on offense was a big thing that we wanted to improve on. And I think we did that. And I think that's what made like the big difference. You guys run a lot of pick and roll action. Tonight. That's your main uh, offensive scheme. Uh, when you're uh, having your big guy roll down, what are you looking for like pocket pass wise? Are you looking for a drop in? Are you looking to bounce pass it in for a lane? Or, or what decisions are you making at that time? Um, I think because we run the pick and roll, especially when it's like a two man game, I think I look to see what the big defender, the person, so the big defender is going to do. Like if they step up to take me, I know that the, the big rolls are probably going to be open because their defender's coming on to me. Um, so that's just what I kind of look for. The opposite side, big comes and the wing's probably open. So I think we run it a lot. So it's just like, it's like when you come off the screen, you kind of know what reads you should look for. Yeah, Kinsley, you set your career high tonight, um, 12 points. You also kind of added a different dynamic to the offense with your jump shooting. Can you talk about um, what it felt like for you to perform tonight and also, I guess, just how you're going to carry this performance forward? Yeah, I think um, the coaches um, going over film from last game really helped, like, point out things that we could do better this game. So, like, using the pick and roll to our advantage and, like, hitting that more and, like, rolling hard, that really is, like, where I got my most points. But, um our point guards and guards are really good at like seeing um, the open slots for when the guard or when the posts are open, so that helps us out a lot. So when we just play team ball, like it all works out. What changed defensively tonight uh, for such a wide scoring? Um, I think our our backside help. I think our help side yesterday um, could have been a little bit better, and I know that was something that we emphasized. Um, so I think that's what made a big difference because they drive a lot and they like to kick it to the bigs a lot or they like to post up the bigs and look for that pass. So I think the help side was a big difference. Yeah, you shot close to 70% from the field tonight. Um, Sharita is the main distributor. Uh, what was it like for you just knowing that everybody was gonna <laughs> knock down shots when you found it? <laughs> nice. I think that um, the, like all the guards in general, I think they do a really good job of drawing two and kicking it out. So it's always like, it's nice when you kick it out and obviously People make it, but I think as well, like the team just did a really good job knocking down shots tonight and getting themselves open too. I think they did a really good job. I feel like I ask you guys a rebounding question every time <laughs> you post game, but you have to do a plus 18 tonight. Um, what was your what was your scheme coming in? Uh, were you trying to crash the boards as much as possible, or did you just get a few lucky bounces? Um, <laughs> I feel like we did like a better job at boxing them out and like like finding our player before we like got the ball but also it helped like when we were making our shots like we didn't need to rebound that much because they were already going in so yeah. um, can you guys talk about your big matchup this week we with in-state rival Weber how are you guys preparing um, is there any shift in mentality that you're trying to get ready for this extra special matchup um I know it's like an in-state rivalry so that's a big deal and I know everybody wants to I'm, I know everybody wants to win, and I know everybody wants to win for Liz because it's a big game for her, too. Um, so it's kind of like that statement game. Uh, we're going to go – I know we're going to spend, like, the next couple days going over, like, our game plan for them, but I know it is, like, it's a big game because it's in-state, and I think winning for Liz and just coming out and playing hard will be really big and important for everybody. Okay.